guys, how's it hanging? Today I am going through my old phone notes because that's what I feel like doing. I made this video uh, three years ago and so I am going to start from that point on and see, let's see what Alex has been up to for the past three years. Vid D, B12, iron. Just so you guys know, that's what I'm deficient in. And I'm still not taking any of those. Strip bar where you pay to have them put clothes on. For husbands, it's not a strip club. And bring your conservative friends or grandparents. Good for bachelor parties when you wanna party but play it cool. I'm so unimpressed. So basically it's just like, here's a strip club that your wives and girlfriends can feel better about you going to because even though they're naked at the beginning, ultimately they have clothes on their body. It's so bad. It's such a bad idea. I mean, that's what the notes are for, you know? They're for all ideas and you can't win every time, can ya? Time travel, future, causes toes. <laughs> What causes toes? Like, uh, you time travel and then you gain more toes? Is that what we're talking about here? It's like, if you could time travel, but if you time traveled, you gained a toe. Each way, there and back. If you want to come back, you get you another toe. Would you do it? And then keep in mind that if you have extra toes, regular shoes aren't going to fit you. You're going to have to get special made shoes. Your balance will probably be somewhat different. Two more nails to paint, to maintain. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Time travel, extra toes. Are you willing or not? Nah? These are the important conversations about the future of technology that need to be happening. This note just says, but you can call me Tuna. <laughs> you can call me Tuna. I am going to do that to every person I meet from here on out. Oh, it's Alex, but you can call me Tuna. <laughs> tuna. <laughs> oh, it's good. Monday, one, two, three. I feel swallowed. <laughs> Damn, that's visceral. I can feel that. You know the feeling of feeling swallowed? Oh my god. Art. Beautiful. Richard, bye! Who the fuck is Richard? I do not know. I still don't know. Sperm bank winery. What? Why would I put those two things together? What is the common denominator? Sperm bank winery. Uh, ejaculation could be the common denominator. You know, wine makes people sexual. Um, sperm bank speaks for itself. Uh, sperm bank winery? I can't find the answers to my problems on the internet. <laughs> That's so true. Do you guys do that too? It's, you have a very specific issue and you're just like, you're typing like a paragraph into Google and <laughs> nothing shows up. Don't steal my backpack. Give my pack back or I'll kick your nutsack. I'm a lunatic. <laughs> What? I guess I was trying to be a rapper, maybe. Because that's what that's like. Don't steal my backpack. Give, give my pack back or I'll kick your nutsack. I'm a lunatic. That doesn't even rhyme. Lunatic. I'm a lunatic. That's what it should have been. What's, what's up with this? 10.39 p.m., probably high. Banana that scares easily. Banana that scares easily? What? That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. Sometimes after I hang out with people, I feel like I have spilled over on them. Shared too much. You guys ever feel that way? Where you share with people? I don't even know if I'm ever actually oversharing, but I share enough where afterwards I come back home and I'm like, oh my God, I just like spilled over and I wish I could just suck it back all up. This note says, tomorrow question mark and then the next note says tonight <laughs> what was going on when someone asks for a favor saying I'd make it worse <laughs> That is really funny to me, that concept. If someone asks you to help with something, just being like, oh, you know what? I I would just make it worse. <laughs> Try it the next time you don't want to do something or help someone. Oh, here's a poem. I write a lot of poetry. It doesn't mean it's good, right? I do it because it feels good when I don't feel good. Pure faith won't turn a rock into a ruby. Rub it down only to expose more of the same. The less I find, the more I give away. All I ask for in return is that you bury me alive because disorienting darkness is deceivingly easier than it is to feel. I like that one. Honestly, I like that one. <laughs> you can't say that about something you've written yourself. It's just cringy. The Corona Carumba. If you guys remember, uh, if you don't, you can check it out. It's on my channel. I made a song about the coronavirus and I think this was me trying to come up with the title. The Cor the Corona Chorus, the Corona Clap, the Corona Carol, <laughs> the Corona Carol, ah, uh, the quarantine, the pandemic, those aren't even ideas. Corona no, I eventually got there. Corona no, no, Corona no, no, Corona no, 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 no,
It was me during the pandemic. Uh, I think that was a tweet that I just never tweeted. Is that relatable? I still fantasize about it. Get mad that that's what they decided to wear on out date. Make them change, cow. I mean, just what, Alex? At 6.31 a.m.? What's going on? I couldn't guess what this meant if I tried. At 6.31 a.m.? What the fuck are you doing? What, did I just wake up? Or what, did I not sleep yet? What? Long neck. Okay. Dog feces in the car door and... And what? And what? What does all of this mean? I thought this would be funny or interesting or cringy, but really it just, none of it makes sense. A list of names I call my cat aside from her real name, which is Moo. Taco, Taco Truck, Dino, Little Boo Thang, Soup, Little Soups. I'm just extending on the list because obviously time has passed. Um, I mean, it changes by the hour. I call her everything. You know you really love something or someone if you call them by any term, you know? It's like, hello water bottle! You love that thing. Dramatic fire alarms. I mean, they usually are dramatic. How many times have your fire alarms gone off because there's a real fire versus because you're fucking cooking in the kitchen and it's a little steamy? You know, like they are usually dramatic. And I know sometimes it's warranted, but a lot of the times they're just being dramatic. This is probably how men feel about women. <laughs> Cave light to darkness, spirits painting. I love seeing stuff like that because I, I come up with an idea for a painting and then I do it. And so it's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. It's like, it's actually like, it makes sense. That was the note about the idea. Here is the painting. It's like trying to fit your head into a pair of shoes. Do you guys ever feel that way about stuff? It's, just, it's not working. It's like trying to fit your head into a pair of shoes. You know what to do. You write mother load on the ballot. That was my voting advice. Just write mother load on the ballot and that'll heal everything. Maybe it's good to be empty, hollow inside, nothing but breeze. Space lets me breathe. Instead of choking upstream, I'll flow with the trials. I like that poem. I listened to a lot of Abraham Hicks. She's a spiritual teacher and her teachings inspired this poem. Mother Earth laying down cities built upon her. That was an idea for a painting. The painting's right here. I'll show it right here. It's so fun to see these ideas for paintings and then and then see the actual outcome afterwards. Okay, so a while ago, I promised that I would, if you guys, enough of you registered to vote, I would write and sing and create a music video for a song, an original song. Not enough of you registered to vote for that. You hit a different minimum and I did that, revealing your secrets, but thank God, honestly, because this was the song that I started panic writing. I was like, oh my God, if I, I don't know what I'm gonna do if that, if they were. Eh. One, two, three. Cause you're just a band-aid, and I cross dead with you I'm bleeding for the drama Wouldn't watch ya even if you did come through Cause you're just a songster Singing a song that'll end in 222 I think I really liked the chorus And then I kept trying to write more And it's really bad And on to the next 221 Your chorus is so sung I'd play along but I'd rather bite off my tongue Sweetness turns sour I'll burn you too I'll rip out the soft stuff Watch gravity win. Damn. <laughs> Speaking of winning, uh, I think we all won by this not ever turning into anything. I thought I'd see a lot more cats in trees by now. You know that idea? It's a thing on the internet. I've definitely seen it on TikTok about things you were taught or exposed to as a child that would imply what life would look like. And then you grow up and you're like, hey, that didn't really apply. For example, I thought that I would do a lot more stop, drop, and rolling, but I've never had to. This is another one. I thought that I would see a lot more cats in trees. <laughs> None. Here's a poem. I eat fantasy. Goldilocks my image of reality. Devour it whole, no space left. And then when the universe provides what's meant to be, I choke instead of being blessed. It may not be good, but damn, that shit's real. You know, you get so caught up in what you want life to look like and what factors need to play out a certain way to make you satisfied. And then life gives you life. And because it doesn't line up with this image you've painted, it feels unfulfilling. And that's not a way to live at all. <laughs> Do you have both kidneys? <laughs> I'd like a lamb. <laughs> I'd like a lamb. I'd like a lamb. <laughs> I'd like a lamb. Oh yeah? I'd like a lamb. <laughs> what? In the holy what? Time did I write this? At 6:27 p.m. I probably I couldn't even I wasn't I wouldn't I wouldn't have been high or drunk at that point. What does this 
mean? What does this mean? I would gain a toe. I would gain a toe to time travel just so I could understand what the fuck that note meant. Two toes. I don't want to relive October 2020 to now. So I, yes, I would take a toe to come back as well. Is why an appropriate response to I love you? Period, 26th of July. <laughs> Period, 4th of November. Girl, just get on flow. There's gotta be a word for that moment of defeat when you get up to go to the bathroom before being able to actually fall asleep. Bladder balls. <laughs> You know when you have to pee before sleeping and you have this conversation with yourself where you're like, I don't, I don't need to. I'll be fine. I can fall asleep. I don't need to pee. I know I need to pee, but I don't need to pee. And then at, eventually when you don't fall asleep for 45 minutes, you have to go pee. And that is a moment of defeat. I thought that there should be a word for it. And maybe there is that I don't know of, but bladder balls is, is what I came up with. If you got something better, let me know. All right, thanks for watching. Alex over and out, but you can call me Tuna.